Well, hundreds have descended on Middle Tennessee as part of the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration in Shelbyville. But as the competition gets underway, controversy continues over how the horses are examined for signs of abuse. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb tells us about some new tests the horses will have to undergo this year as a result. Jason? Well, that's right, Vicki. The Tennessee walking horse industry is still dealing with fallout from allegations of abuse as trainers try to get their horses to step higher. Well, this year, new tests to check for abuse have been put into place, but walking horse industry supporters continue to wonder if past year's horse exams are giving their trainers a fair shake. Amid the pageantry of the first day of the Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration lies the controversy over how the horses in the competition are tested for abuse. There's nothing fair about it. At issue is the way the USDA inspects horses for sores or scars before and after a showing. You didn't find anything? No. Horses that show evidence of scarring are disqualified. Critics of USDA inspectors say they sometimes deliberately create what looks like a scar on the skin by pulling the horse's hair apart. Now we're going to use a flashlight so we can get a good picture of the scar that they say he has. Don't pull the hair back, sir. He's creating an illusion right there. And then when he starts pulling the hair apart from left to right, he's creating a crease just like you've got in your hair. There's your scar. So today, a newly formed Veterinary Advisory Council demonstrated additional tests that will be performed on horses competing in the celebration this year, including x-rays and blood draws. They are totally objective and that will provide facts for which an intellectual conversation can take place. The council says the new tests will provide less room for interpretation and what they called anecdotal evidence compared to past year's horse exams, but it stopped short of directly criticizing the USDA. I'm not talking about anything other than we are dealing with facts. I know of no other parties that have facts that will be comparable to the facts that will be accumulated during the 2014 celebration. Bottom line, those in and out of the walking horse industry say they don't want to see horses getting abused. It's just the methods used to detect it that's causing the disagreement. Now, in all of this, both the USDA and the Veterinary Advisory Council would have the authority to disqualify horses in the competition this year. For its part, the USDA stands behind its examination practices, saying parting a horse's hair can help check for damage to the skin underneath. They say that is just one of the many methods they use to check for violations in walking horses.